Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Lyric Spencer, and I just have to weigh in on this drama that's going on on social media between Miss Wendy Williams and Tabitha Brown. First, let me say this. Love is a precious commodity right now. If you found true love, don't gloat. And if you haven't found it yet, don't hate. See, the trouble all started when Wendy Williams featured social media darling Tabitha Brown on her Hot Topics segment. If you don't know who Tabitha Brown is, you should definitely check out her Instagram profile. She has 3.5 million followers and she shares vegan recipes, okay? So Tabitha has been doing really well on social media and she talked about being able to retire her husband from the police force, okay? She talked about it being a dangerous job and watching her husband put on a bulletproof vest. And she also talked about how he gave up everything once upon a time to support her. And now she was very happy to announce that she's able to retire him. Well, Wendy just went in. She just went all in because we know what went on between her and her husband, Kelvin Hunter, and uh, take a listen. Well, she's an influencer and she's saying that she's retiring her husband. He's been a police officer for 15 years and he wants to live out his dreams. Nope. I was married to one of those. You know, I make the money and so on and so forth. Go live your dreams, buy a business, you know, stay with me, but go, go, go. You see how that turned out. I predict that this marriage is gonna be on real rocky ground in a moment. So Wendy went on to project her broken heart onto Tabitha's marriage and people are not having it. But the best part, oh my God, the best part is how Tabitha read Wendy her rights in the most Christian way possible. Hello there, y'all all right? Very good, honey, I was up doing a little work here. That's why I got my pajamas on in my office. And then my phone started going off, like praising people. It's like, girl, you're Wendy Williams. Um, first of all, Wendy Williams, honey, God bless you. God bless you. Okay. Um, and so people sent me a little clip. And I said, oh, my God, the pain this woman must be in. Wendy, the pain you must be in to feel this way. And I'm so sorry. But listen, let me tell you this. Um, 23 years I've been with my husband. Yes. Uh, broke for a very long time together struggled for a very long time together, succeeded for the last couple of years together, right? Uh, my husband took a job in agreement with me. He took a job 15 years ago to help support my dream. And I know you may not know what that looks like in a genuine uh, place, right? Um, but this was an agreement that my husband and I had. And I told him 15 years ago, oh, babe, in five years, I'll be able to take you out of there so then you can pursue one of your dreams that you love. Right now, I was his dog in the fight, okay? And he believed in me. And we did it together for the last 15 years. I did every year with him at LAPD, and he did every year with me with rejection and no's in this entertainment industry, right? However, God has blessed me. He has allowed me to manifest. I've been praying on this for a very long time, and it has now come to pass. That is the power of God. It's also the power of allowing God to be first in your marriage, okay? Um, and that is how it remains successful. We keep him first. He is first in our marriage. Not money, not business, not success, but God. He's first, okay? Um, so this is my prayer for you. Uh, I pray that love finds you, true love. I pray it finds you and it holds you tight. I pray that someone will love you enough to see you, to see you when you are not well, to see you when you need true support, to see you when you need compassion, to see you when you need kindness. I pray that somebody loves you enough to to sacrifice their life for you. I pray that type of love binds you so that you can understand why. I don't want my husband to put his life on the line 
anymore wearing a bulletproof vest if he don't have to. And if that's not his desire, I love him enough that I want him to be safe and I want him to coach children the way he wants to. My husband has a nonprofit, right? And he wants to be able to build that even more so. And what I do know is a nine to five or a steady job takes away time for creativity, takes away time that you want to pour into your real true purpose. And if God blesses someone to be able to pull out of that nine to five and pour everything into their purpose, their passion, ooh, my goodness, why would we dishonor God if he blesses us with the ability and the way to be able to do so? Ooh, honey, I'm excited about that. Ooh, I pray that somebody finds you, love finds you, that excites you the way I am excited about my husband being able to grow his business, being able to pour into children, continue to coach these kids, do other things he's dreamt about. Ooh, honey, I pray this type of excitement and love finds you and anybody else who seems to not understand this. I pray that type of love finds you sacrifice, compassion, like I really do. I really, really do. Okay. Um, with that being said, uh, I thank all of y'all <laughs> for messaging me and, and telling me about it. And I want you, whoever is watching, who understands the type of love, let us all pray for people like Miss Wendy um, and others who have either been so hurt uh, or never found a genuine love that fills their heart with so much compassion and joy. Let us all pray that they find that and that it finds them. Yes, very good. Now, I want y'all to go on about your business, okay, and have the most amazing day. But even if you can't have a good one, don't y'all dare go messing up nobody else's here. God bless you. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all. Now, you see what Tabitha did right there? Now, that is how you tell the truth and shame the devil. Okay, now don't get me wrong. I appreciate Wendy and her journey, but this was something she should not have spoken on if her heart was this bitter. Now, whether Tabitha's husband decides to double cross her after she retires him, as we've seen happen to so many successful women, now that remains to be seen. But uh, people took to social media to bash Wendy for speaking ill on Tabitha's good Christian marriage.